Question 11 says Kirsty draws this shape on a grid. It then says she turns her grid one quarter turn clockwise. Remember, clockwise, clockwise goes this way around in the same direction as the hands of a clock. That's why it's called clockwise. It then says draw the shape in its new position after the turn. Use a ruler. And we're going to have to draw the shape on this grid. Now the easiest thing to do here is to get some tracing paper to help us. So here is the piece of tracing paper and I've already traced the shape out. As you can see it fits exactly over the top there. Now I've actually also drawn a little arrow pointing north. Now this arrow pointing north will help us with turning our shape clockwise. For example, if I place the tracing paper over the top of the shape and then try and turn it, one, so clockwise is this way around, so it's going the same way around as a clock. So one quarter turn clockwise would mean the arrow then points east. Another quarter clockwise would mean the arrow then points south. Then another quarter would mean the arrow points west. And a, another quarter would bring the shape all the way back around to the beginning. Now I can use this idea on the grid at the bottom with my tracing paper. So if I drag my tracing paper down to the grid at the bottom, make sure it's lined up properly. Now that is the shape in its original position on the grid at the top of the exam page. So what I need to do is get my arrow pointing north, one quarter clockwise turn, we'll see that arrow pointing east. So that arrow now needs to point east. Just slightly readjust so the shape fits over the dots. And that will now tell me where I need to draw my shape. So it's just then a matter of basically slightly peeling back the tracing paper and drawing in the lines onto the grid because obviously you can't draw through the tracing paper so you have to peel it back and draw the lines straight on and that's the answer